That's a great way to start the pod, <laughs> that sound that you just made. Um, <coughs> Hi, everyone. Hey. Welcome to the capsule. Hello. Press it. And it's so in the man when the capsule song fades out. <laughs> Were you rapping all the way through that? Yeah. Ah, good. I should have left the mics up. Should have left it on with the caps. Should have left it on. Hi, everyone. <coughs> How's it going? I'm super tired. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, well, my mic's at the wrong angle. <laughs> I'm tired. It's all going wrong, and I don't care. I can tell from the well how pissed off you are. <laughs> I just said, Russell, Russell, well, <laughs> I'm going to burn it all. <laughs> just so much time setting up and the mic was still at the wrong angle. But it's all good. Fuck my life. Uh, um, hi, geez. everyone. How's it going? I'm here with my friend Abe, literally backed by popular demand. I said that last time as a joke that you were backed by popular demand. And then mm. since then, like multiple people have been like, Abe's so good when he's on the couch. Shut oh, up. Yeah, legit. Are you serious? Yeah, they're like, oh, I love that episode with Abe. Abe's so funny. He's so good at it. Blah, blah, blah. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you. <sighs> no one says that about me. That's fine. People have tuned off, man. <laughs> <laughs> Abe's really good at the castle. You're like, nom, nom. I'm slurping on tea. They're like, no, I can't do this. I think they're either... Oh. By this point, they're either all the way in yeah, or yeah, all, all the, the way, way out. Back out yeah. <laughs> they saw the thumbnail. They were like, and moving on. Do you want to talk about your um, your biscuits? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about biscuits, right? Because we, we had a little biscuit thing earlier. Um, like, biscuit beef, yeah. For all the people that don't know, oh. it's not that it's great to <gasps> be posting on your Instagram story. Oh, he said it. Yeah, yeah. Just edit Stephane in, Sinclair. like, edit in, like, what happened last time with the biscuit. This was happening with the biscuit this time. I didn't choose this biscuit. It is a very, like, this biscuit, if you're dunking it in tea, yeah, like, this is the Hulk of biscuits for dunking in tea. We've got chocolate odd knobs. <laughs> Do you have a sound of it? Um, no, it's I right, know, it's just play it, it, play it. <laughs> Try it. Maybe there is one. Chocolate obnobs, bro. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Chocolate obnobs, yeah? This is not a biscuit, but I uh, just... Uh, I think you, you want, got to try again. Do so you want to suck on something? Oh. Pause, bro. It's a little bit of a dairy <laughs> milk buttons. Mint. It's new. New. Hey, what happened? <laughs> Yeah, and then this one no one can actually cuss i was actually had a big think about this after i came on and i blew up the pod big man style because i'm so sick and people were talking about biscuits and like rating biscuits this stefan there's no way yeah stefan there's no way that this can't be number one okay because it's not just a biscuit it's a hybrid of biscuit and cake what is it you what may ask it? i may ask there's a few buttons you haven't hit yet so oh wait, we have a drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> that's not Don't play that one. It's fine. That's there's fine. A drum, that's there's a drum roll. Drum roll. Oh, whatever. It's a fucking triple chocolate shortbread. Blood. Press the button. Hey. I press two. <laughs> I press two at the same time. You got the drum roll in the hand. What happened? <laughs> that's what happened, bro. It's a bisque cake. It's a case kit. Yeah. So, no one can come to me and argue that shortbreads aren't top tier. They're the best. They're top tier, bruv. It's a biscuit and a cake. And that's how the fuck we intro the pod, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can tell, we're here to talk about Grover <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh bruv, we're so both so tired. tired. <laughs> this whole podcast is just going to be us dicking about laughing, man. <laughs> no. No. Yes, it will. Oh, Fuck my life. Um, okay, so, Groovinometry. Tell me. Hey, hello. I was actually, out of all of the events, bare people are going to be like, what, you didn't say that about <laughs> Kingdom Come League, bro? <laughs> um, <laughs> out of all the events, Groovinometry was the one event that I was like, yo, bro, I would travel for that yeah. big time. And I was kind of upset that I didn't go. It, it looked, would have enjoyed it. It looked like I would have enjoyed it. Yeah, I think you would have definitely enjoyed it. So... 
What? I haven't told you anything yet, have I? Nothing. Oh. No, nothing. Nom, nom, nom. Um, nom, nom, noms. Uh, all right, so I'll break it. I'll break it down for you. <coughs> um, so, where, where to start? Well, we got there on Friday. We mm. drove up. Yeah. Uh, Who's we? Me and Joe, Monkey Flip Media. Woo-hoo. Shout out to Joe, Monkey Flip Media. <laughs> nice. And then the flip. <laughs> Media. Hey, man. Welcome to the YouTube channel. <laughs> No, bro. Put me on the spot. Worst sound effects ever. I'm going to record those for the buttons next week. Hey, man. Put me on the YouTube. Oh. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we drove up. It was about four hours, 45 minute drive. So mm. that was long as fuck. Four hours? <coughs> four, 45? Yeah. To Manchester. Did you do um half? Did you do pit stops halfway change? Or yeah, well, yeah, we did. That way you do it all the way back. No, we did. We drove for about an hour and a half, stopped and had food, and then did three hours or so. Um, Who drove more? I drove the whole time. Oh, Joe didn't drive. Joe, Joe does drive, but he didn't drive. Why? Why not, Joe? Because I don't want him to drive my car. Oh. No, oh. <laughs> no, I don't know insurance wise what that. What yeah, no, no, that. yeah, no, 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 no. Anyway, don't say anything. Obviously, as you can tell, we're here to talk about insurance. Um, <laughs> Um, so then we got there, went to the theatre night. Mm. Um, so they had a theatre night on a Friday. Ooh. Um, is it, this new? This is brand new this year. So this is the first time they're doing a three day festival before it was one day. So the day when I did like, when I, um, was in the exhibition the second mm. time, Mm-mm. I did an hour of ciphers for hip hop. Then I did a five round battle, which went to a tie and I did, then I, so I did six rounds. Then I got to the exhibition battle two rounds or three rounds in the exhibition battle and then drove home. So Fucking hell. I almost cried on the way back. But <laughs> <laughs> this one, they split it over three days, so it makes a lot more sense this Sick. way. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and obviously, like, until you build up, you can't do that. But, yeah, yeah no. it's definitely worth them well done, having really done much. that. Um, the theatre night was interesting. They had, like, I think it's, like, a really small new thing. So, mm. like, there's a lot of space for it to grow. Like, um, it was in this, like, bar um it's kind of like a bar that had like this big room at the back and they had built like a the the stage area was the floor and then you know what like you build those like portable staging um things yeah they built that for the audience so that there was tears if that makes sense oh sick. so you had the first row of audience were like floor seats and then you mm. had they put you up on the upper level and then upper level Did they have stools or was everyone sitting on the <clears throat> they're all chairs oh sick. yeah so they put oh, out like sick. these chairs so they did a good job in terms of like setting it out i think the um the stage was a bit small for the amount of people that were on it a lot. So there was like some that were, I don't know if there's any that were like that small, actually. There was one that was like four people and even that was a bit like pushing it mm. in terms of how small it was. <clears throat> um, but some of them like the Groovinometry, like the actual organization, they have a theater piece that they're working on. Mm. And that was like a 25 minute piece of like 10 people. And it's like, it was way too small for that. Yeah. <laughs> but like, cause the first time they did it, yeah, it was kind of, it was a bit like, you could tell it wasn't made for like a tiny stage. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, the thing is, it's, it's a really cool idea having the theater night. And it's like, um, you're not going to build that up to be a huge theater thing yeah. immediately. Unless like Summer Dance Forever have a theater night. And as far as I remember, Ooh. like they had the battle first and then I did the theater, theater night once afterwards. it was already yeah, big. Yeah, yeah. So they could have done it like that, but I think it's, it makes sense that they want to build. So Have high aspirations. Yeah. You might not execute it the way you wanted to, but exactly. you start somewhere and you grow. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean, my babies? I don't fucking know what you mean, mate. It's beautiful. And um, Yeah, so the and the pieces were... I think most of them were, I guess, like newer, newer choreographers in the sense of making like theatre work. So I think there were a lot of the choreographers who were in there have like choreographed a lot. Yeah. But I think it's a very different thing to like choreography or showcases or that type of thing to making like a 10 minute piece. Yeah. So I think a lot of them were, were really good. Um, were they, can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah. Please also, ask many. I can ask at the end or if you don't mind me interjecting. Because mm. I'm just like learning this. No, please just talk, as talk stuff. Um, the pieces where they like, hey, dancers, you know about dancers. Here's a nice theatre piece that dancers can enjoy. Or were they like, let's go to the theatre, <laughs> Gertrude. And like um, people who know nothing about dance would enjoy. Like who were they catering to? Or what did it seem like the theme of the theatre pieces were catered to? Um, I think it was more neither of those. 
Ooh. It was more like I'm trying to think of all the pieces. Um, Groovonometry piece was like a 25 minute thing that they had already built in, like an R and D. They yeah. started. Yeah, yeah. The rest of them, I think, for me, were more like people that had choreographed like showcases, like maybe not like Dancers Delight, but like this kind of like yeah. just good choreography with yeah. not necessarily too much like um, story or that type of thing, but just like more like a theme or something. Yeah. And just he like, hit me. Yeah, there he was like not so much even that, like <laughs> more just like um just like you know, like the the kind of format of like stuff that we used to do where it's like routine, 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 yeah. and like different songs and stuff. Like that, but a slower, longer version. Okay. For most of them. So I I, I get why that's the case, because like I said, like that's the sort of thing that gave me the impression that a lot of them hadn't done like longer pieces. It wasn't like, oh, we've worked on this. I'm trying to think if there's anyone that I'm thinking about that, or like I'm missing. Because it sounds like that's the dancers. It sounds like dancers would enjoy watching it. Yeah, I think it's more of a dancer thing, but also it's like, I guess there's a difference between like the battle night and then some people like to sit down and watch a showcase, mm, if you know mm, what I mean. I hear, you. I hear you. I'm just having a look back at the um, the people to see if there's any. I forget that like the choreo world is very used to that, but maybe battle scene is like, yo, man. Yeah, like why are we sitting down to, <laughs> to watch something? Um... You nah, yeah, the bottle or shall I, like, who's going well, Kofi had a piece and that was like something that looked like he'd worked on it in like theatre yeah. stuff. I'm not sure if he's presented that before, but I mean, it's Kofi, so he probably has. Yeah. And he, he's been like dancing for a lot longer. So <laughs> I think maybe, yeah, maybe besides Kofi, the rest of them were like choreo showcases yeah. basically extended to like 10 minutes rather than what I would say is like a theatre or a long form piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to say one's better, but it's just more what it seemed like. Um, me and Joe had a couple of drinks, so we were a little bit waved at the end. Now, people that don't know, when Luke says a couple of drinks, I went to a um, Loud Cloud oh, event yeah. with him. Oh, yeah, you did. At, um, I don't know where this story is South going. Bank. And <laughs> oh, we yes, got there and he had one drink. And after one <laughs> drink, I checked up on him and was like, hey, do you want another drink? And he was like, hey, man, what's happening? And I was like, <laughs> what is wrong with you? So when you say a couple of drinks... You were slozzage no. by the first one. <laughs> I mean, yes. Uh, yeah. I literally had two drinks and I was a little waved by then. And then <laughs> A little wave. And then we went out. Oh, <laughs> oh <God>. dear. <laughs> um, oh. No, I did get uh, fairly drunk. I wasn't like fucked, but I was like solidly drunk. Yeah. You were having a nice time. You were enjoying yeah. yourself, mate. The after party was cool. Um, they had a little after party at... Um, yeah, some some venue in Manchester. Mm. <clears throat> um, Adil Kanfu was playing, so he played some nice music. Is he the breaking DJ? Yeah, that was oh, on the pod oh. with the yeah, 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 brown yeah. guy with the beard. Yeah, um, nice beard. Yeah, and he he did some good stuff. Um, what else? And then yeah, that's kind of uneventful. It wasn't like super super packed. It was just like it was only a couple hours. I think it was like. From like 10 until 1. And then by the time everyone got there, it was like 11. So it was like a yeah. couple hours. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and then Saturday. So Saturday was at a different venue. All three were at different venues. Mm. Saturday was um, kind of this like big, like, I don't mean this in a bad way, but like an old like theatre. So it seemed like quite an old like building. Um, it was super cold. There wasn't really heating in there. Mm. Um, but obviously for dancing, it wasn't so bad because by the time it heated up, it was kind of a good temperature. <clears throat> but I was doing pods upstairs and I was killed as fuck. I was talking to Feist, just like, yeah, so tell me more about your journey. Because <laughs> also I got the capsule t-shirts done. So like he wore a coat because he was like, it's cold, Nick, and I wear a coat. Mm. And I was like, yeah, yeah, no worries. I'm just going to wear this t-shirt. Hey, man. Immediately regret it. <laughs> Five minutes in, I was like. <laughs> you got to sacrifice for fashion, man. <laughs> yeah. Sacrifice for the brand. Well, I hope everyone fucking watches that one instead of <laughs> listens. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I was upstairs doing pods and they basically had... The two, three workshops, they had workshop with uh, Feist first. Mm. Then upstairs they had uh, Soyuz um, workshop and downstairs was with Mouse. He's a little triangular, little cutie, isn't he? So Soyuz. Soyuz. Yeah. Angles. He's Sorry. sick. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, and then so after that we did the panel talk and that was Soyuz, Feist, Gilu and I don't know if you know Alex. She's a waver from Greece. Do you know my friend Callie? No, they're I both might from have seen, I might have seen a video of her though. I think uh, it sounds it sounds familiar. She's, she's I think you'd like her stuff. She's super good. Yeah. Um. So it was the four of them, and we did a panel talk downstairs, which was also cool. That's Sick. coming out 
very soon. Um, depending on how long it takes me to edit everything else I have to do in my life. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> um, so then that was cool. Had some really nice chats, actually. It was sick. Like, so I think before, while the Soyuz workshop was going on, I did a pod with Feist. Yeah. So that's going to come out. This is all on the Saturday? This is all on the Saturday. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, I did okay, the cool. pod with Feist, panel talk with the four of them. Okay. Then I did a two-hour pod with Gilu, which I think we're going to split into two parts mm. and release uh, separately. Because um, <laughs> one was like super, not deep, but kind of like we just immediately, uh, I asked her, how are you? And it just went downhill. It was like, like we started talking about the war and like just oh. sexual I mean, harassment. Yeah, and- no, bro. You know what I mean? That, that's like, that is very now though, isn't it? That's very 2022. Like, how are you doing? You asked me how I am. So let's unpackage everything yeah, I've yeah, been yeah. dealing with. And then she was like, well, how are you? And I was like, well, seeing as we're going there, <laughs> <laughs> here's how I am. So we just, oh, that is so we sick. just both went in depth. Like it was, it was nice because it was, it, you know, sometimes when those conversations come up, it feels forced. Yeah. But like Jilu's super nice and she's like, she's got a real, I'd never met her before in real life, but she's got like a um, a real, like she's really comfortable around people, I think. Mm-hmm. So when she starts speaking to you, it's just like you relax just as well. Chilled, yeah. So when we started talking, it just kind of felt organic nice to like yeah to, that's really to sick. have a real conversation that's really flipping sick and then we well, got yeah. like halfway and i was like so i really want to like ask you about like your night contract and and all the fun stuff like about dance and how cool it is to battle all around the world but i feel like it's really not appropriate after what <laughs> we've just been speaking about for an hour so we might split it into two so mm-hmm. that one's like a more personal, deeper personal yeah. one and one's more like just we talked mm-hmm. about like contracts and and just being a professional dancer and stuff so. can i ask you a question always how did it feel to how did it feel how I'm not gonna do that's D'Angelo in case anyone doesn't know. If you don't know, you're too young. Um, do do how did it feel to um like do I know you've done panel pods before, I know you've interviewed big people before, but this feels like <coughs> am I fair to say like one of your biggest panel pods in terms of Oh yeah, in terms the place, of place, the guests. Yeah. How did that how did that all um it was sick to be honest like the i think all of them were sick for a different reason like the one with feist was dope because he's someone that and i said this to him on the pod but like he's one of the people that's had like the biggest influences on my dance i think yeah (laughs) (laughs) i definitely got down on my knees a little (laughs) little bit um (laughs) but yeah like him like jadawi would be another one that i wanted it would be good to do the pod with but like Yeah. yeah i don't know it's just interesting to like have those chats with him like stuff that i've thought about his dance or things that he's done but like to hear it from him from is him. like sick That's dope. there's some nice moments in there i'll tell you more off here because i don't want to ruin the surprise but like some nice little moments and stuff cha-ching exclusive um and then the julie one was surprisingly nice because i was like i don't know this woman yeah um I don't, I know her battles, but I don't really know much about her career. I haven't really heard many people say much about her to know, oh, you're the girl that did this or mm. whatever. So I was like, this might be like dead. Mm. And then as soon as you start speaking, I was like, oh, this is going to be the longest this one. This is amazing. Like we, we <laughs> tried to plan like an hour for each of them, but hers was like two, yeah, almost two hours. That's it. Um, and that. we got on super well. So that, that was really nice. And then Love the that. panel talk was like, it was cool because I haven't done loads like live ones. Mm. I think that was the second live one I've done. I'm doing two at Move It this weekend, um, which will be cool. Um, which we can talk about later. Which we can. Because I want to know more about that. Talk about later. <laughs> I don't know how much I know about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so and I'm trying to push the live things a bit more. So yeah, doing the live one was cool because there's like actually an audience and it was like on the mic in front of everyone. Mm. And um, yeah, it was cool. I mean, I hope people enjoyed it. Um, and it was like a, a lot more my usual thing about panel talks when there's like four guests and we only have like 40 minutes is like everybody introduces themselves and then you're already halfway done do you yeah. know what I mean it's like we can't really get into anything deep yeah, yeah. but um, we did like that there was some nice little moments of that um, again there's some stuff that I mean you'll hear it anyway but I'll tell you off the thing because it's like I want people to actually go and listen um, and that was really cool man and I was really happy that people had a good response to it and Grivenometry seemed to enjoy having it at the event so sick hopefully that's good and it's like I guess it's the same with like any business or whatever where you're like alright if I'm a photographer I go to the event shoot good pictures then people that listen uh, see the pictures and also the event will like tell other people tell them oh yeah I had this guy so I'm hoping that happens with the panel where it's like yeah. people will see it or Grivenometry will tell another event oh yeah we had this guy and there's an audience for it yeah get him in 
Get uh, the capsule in, do you know what I mean? Get the fucking capsule so, in. So, yeah. battle day was Sunday? So, wait, there's more on Saturday. So oh. then, Saturday, after the workshops, after the panel talk, uh, and after I did the pod, there then started the ciphers. So, the cipher prelims. <laughs> For Sunday. For Sunday. So they did all the cipher prelims on Saturday at the same venue where the workshops were. <clears throat> so they had a separate room, which was quite big, and it had like a stage and a DJ on top, and then all the dancers were down. And, um, was this DJ Poo? This, I don't know. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think he did that. I have to I say, think you don't pronounce it like that. I think he's like Poo or something. But yeah. Anyway. Mate, it's spelled Poo. <laughs> yeah. we, um, we, I listened to one of the songs that he played when you went live. Yes. DJ Poo or Per or whatever. Have I, I'm just saying Poo for guys, you not, you've not corrected me. <laughs> well done. You liked it. You're a good DJ. Sick. Your songs made me do the face I do when I poo. Ah, that's why it's called? No, it's probably not. <laughs> <laughs> just ruined his credibility. Yeah. He's like, don't do that DJ with my name. Stankface. <laughs> yeah, um, DJ Stankface. Yeah, DJ Stankface. Well done. Yeah, so they had that, that. I think they did the break in first and then which I was upstairs for talking to Jilu. And then I came down and it was popping and hip hop. They did it all together. And I think the way they had like secret judges. So it was like, they were playing popping and hip hop tracks mm. as you go. And then basically they had secret judges. So I think one judge was to give, cause you get a medallion. If you, I'll explain why there's one hanging off that cup in a minute. Oh, oh, yeah. I made it. <laughs> Your boy's just not just a talker. Hey, all the poppers um, <laughs> in the UK. Uh, hey, what happened? <laughs> He's hardly been doing this for any time at all. Hey man, remember you guys training really hard for years and still battling even when I stopped? Hey, what happened? He's just come in and just slapped you across the face with his... Dung, da dung, dung, dung. You know who you're mainly talking to is Lewis. Lewis! (laughs) Hey, what happened? Better get back on that 100 days, bro. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lewis, you're really good. I really love you. You want to make up Oh, you're killing me. That was very funny. Um, well, Harry put me back in my place, so don't worry about that. You touched you in? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I won the first round. Oh, so basically, for anyone that doesn't get the context by now, I, I what, what happened was I came down from the pod mm. and... That, sorry. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. The, the most subtle flex that didn't even realise you were flex. Yeah, basically, I did all of these pods and I just came down and was just like. <laughs> <laughs> Such a dick. Carry on. Oh, Carry on. I hate you so much. I came down from the pod and it was like already 20 minutes. In. I think it was like an hour that it was my friend. So it was like 20 minutes in or something like that. Mm. <laughs> and, um, I was just chilling, watching for a while. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to dance a bit just because it's like, what else am I doing? And then I did some rounds and then I got a thing, medallion. So basically they, they just walk around and like, if they see you in the sci-fi and you don't know who they are, but they'll like come up to you and like. So, so you were just dancing just to flip in, just dance. Yeah, I thought, I didn't know who was judging. I didn't, I didn't know what was going on. I That's didn't, it. I kind of in my head assumed that they wouldn't count me. Because you came down late or something like that. Yeah, I thought, I didn't know if you registered or whatever. Yeah. So I was just dancing and breaks. Gave me the thing after a few rounds I did. And then... And I said, listen, pay me later, yeah? Don't tell no one. <laughs> no, he was like, he, he said, he gave it to me. And I was like, oh, shit. And then I was like, I, I don't think I can. I'm filming. And he was like, oh, are you sure? And I was like, ah, right, fuck it, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> he started taking the... He felt like the pressure coming away from the... Yeah, no, that's yeah, right. No, that's no, right. No, no, I'm sure we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. You gave me the <laughs> medallion. You can't take it back. It's a gift. <laughs> I never do too many things. <laughs> um... So yeah, anyway, so that was cool. And then, yeah, I'll get to Harry tucking me in uh, in a oh, minute. Yeah. So then they did the ciphers. I think they had breaks given out to the male poppers. I don't know who gave out to the female poppers. Mm. I think Josh gave out to female hip hop dancers. And then Feist did the male hip hop dancers, I think. Okay. So it was like four judges and they just walked around and you didn't really know who it was, but you kind of... You kind of knew. <laughs> Could maybe guess. You're not dancing. You're just walking around. <laughs> um, yeah. You might be judging. Well, some of them were ciphering and then they were just kind of like. Oh, <laughs> That's <laughs> really cool to just be like. <laughs> yeah. You. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> um, it's a secret. So then, yeah, that happened. And basically everyone that got a medallion went and, uh, uh, went and told the organization. They wrote it down, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Cool. And then it was done. Um... <laughs> Then there was supposed to be a party. Well, there was a party, I think, on Saturday night, um, which was supposed to start from te- 
nine, ten, ten maybe, until like three in the morning. I was dead. So as soon as we left the place, I didn't want to go anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone else was like, yeah, we'll go. It'll be fine. We'll go for a bit. But I was like, yeah, all right. I just didn't want to go. Um, but I was kind of like, they convinced me to just come along and try it. But basically what happened was like, it got to like, I don't know, we went to find food and whatever. And then they were like, oh, all the tickets are sold out. No, at the venue, all the tickets were already sold out for the night. And it's like, I don't even think it was, I think what, I don't know, Lewis said the event happens every week mm. and there was supposed to be like groovenometry tickets set aside or something, but maybe like other people oh, bought those tickets or something. I don't know what happened, but it kind of got sold out. And um, so by the time we got back and we're going to change and everything, everyone was just texting each other like, are you going? Are you going? Have you yeah, been able to get tickets? Yeah, Have you? Yeah, yeah. So none of us really got tickets. So Probably for the best. I was like, oh no, what a shame. <laughs> <laughs> um so then we just stayed and like had some drinks at my friend's house and hung out so that was cool anyway and then sunday so sunday was like the 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 day day and they had the knockout battle so everyone that got a thing it was like top eight yeah top eight and then top four mm. yeah top eight and top four so they chose eight poppers let's say and then you do your first round Second round, and then the winners of the top four. There was two, so it was Harry and Silk who won. Wait, wait, wait! We won top eight. How did we get to the winners of the top four? So there was top eight. top eight, and then the winners of that. There was four left. Yeah. Then the winners of that round. Yeah, yeah There yeah. were two left. Yeah. And those yeah, yeah, two yeah, winners yeah. were Harry and Silk. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So instead of battling each other, those two just went into the exhibition. Oh, okay, so and you then, won basically. Harry and Silk. Won. Yeah, won basically, and then well done, guys. in the pop in in the female pop in. Um, Lucia and Camille got to the finals, but there's only one spot for them. So they had to do a final and Lucia won. So she just went into the exhibition. So it was like different depending on, and the same for the break-in. Like I think the B-girls had a different number than the B-boys or something like that. Um, That's interesting. How did, uh, <clears throat> how did they feel? Yeah. Well, I think it was already, it was announced beforehand that that was going to be the case. But it, what I think Groovenometry said was that more guys come than girls anyway. <coughs> okay, fair enough. Which that was, was the case, to be behind. fair. I think uh, female poppers, there was like the the kind of people that we know, but like female hip hop dancers, there wasn't like that many mm. more than the, I can just hear like Lucia, like when they announced it, being like, that's so stupid, mate. That's stupid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Lucia, you want me? This is great. This is great, mate. Whoa, I'm from Scotland. What the hell, mate? That was good. Thanks. You're That's welcome. the best I'm going to get in Scotland. <laughs> That's almost exactly what she said. No, I don't know. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So then they did the knockouts for the... Uh, I think... Did they do it for the kids as well? I think they did the kids. No. Then they did the B-boys, B-girls, popping and hip-hop. So that was like separate. Cool. So they did hip-hop, popping, and then yeah. female hip-hop, popping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, So all the knockout battles. It was pretty good. I'm trying to think if there was any... I don't know if you know Jordan, Little J... Uh, he was like, I used to teach him at UEL. Um, I'll show you a picture of him. I don't know if you've ever met him, to be honest, but like... Is he a kid? Was he in the kid thing? No, no, no. He's like, uh, not our age. He's like maybe Lewis's age. But um, when Lewis moved to Manchester, he... Sounds like, so familiar. Became friends with him. White dude. Yeah, this guy. I don't know him, but I've seen him from Lewis's uh, thing. I think he actually yeah. might follow me. So he did That's some it. really fucking good rounds. And you know what's sick <clears> is like, the hip hop was like, there were some decent people in there. And like he won, like he's never got through a prelim before. Won both of his rounds and battled alongside like Feist and like people like that. Hey, bud! So he's and it's in his home and he's in Manchester. He lives in Manchester. So I'd say that's a successful day. And he's the one that let us stay over there. So shout out to John. Oh, he's a lovely you. lad, little Jay. Little Jay. He and he's some fucking good rounds, man. He fucking yeah. deserved it. You brought out the big Jay that night, didn't you? Wait, yeah. oh, when he got know home. What's going on? You know what I'm talking about, man. Big Jay now, man. Can you do a Manchester accent? Uh, right. It's Big J now, mate. You know what I mean? Came down hometown. Do you know what I mean? Just the lad was about. Do you know what I'm saying? Little J just came and bossed it, mate. Did a couple of those. Did some leg waves, mate. You know what I mean? Is that like slightly Liverpool? It's slightly. I'm, I'm going. Yeah, when I get really excited, my man Cunion turns into <laughs> to Liverpool. Scouts, yeah. <laughs> Active right, problems. Yeah, right, mate. Do you know what I'm talking about? From Manchester and all that. Like little J. That's Great actually fucking J, you know? good, man. I got a mate who's from Manny. <laughs> speaks oh. like that. 0161. Listen, can I ask you a question? Always. That was a bad money. I'll try and get back into it. Right, so what happened in your battles then? So you got through to top eight, right? Yeah, I beat a Canadian... Oh, Mike. 
Canadian guy we saw, we saw oh the, the like animation. Right, right. Sent him back home. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh you know, it was it was I think it was pretty close. Um mm. I don't know, I haven't watched the whole thing back. I just watched my round, but um like the Rude. way the way Lewis It filmed. wasn't good enough to watch his round. Yeah, well, if no, I Lewis, get a fucking mic guy out of it. Let's see what I did. <laughs> yeah. No, Lewis just filmed me, you <laughs> dickhead. Um But no, yeah, so that was, I, you know, what was annoying is because I was like, with the popping, I was like, all right, I want to either get someone that I know I'm going to beat or mm. I know he's going to beat me. Mm, mm. And like, I feel like Mike is not that. It's like, he could easily smoke me, yeah. but then it's also, I'm like, uh, if he has a bad day and I do a good round, like there might be. So it yeah, kind of stressed yeah. me because I was like, I just want to know I'm going to either at least win one <laughs> round or just get smoked. <laughs> Like, it's like, you know, if I get like fucking Harry in the first round, it's like, all right, cool. I just got to yeah, have fun yeah, and then yeah, go yeah, home. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you mean. Um, anyway, Mental, so then. Men Mentality wise, you were caught in a. Yeah, I had place. to actually engage in it. To, Can I do this? I might be able to do and this. And then uh, when I got Mike, I was like thinking about what I should do to yeah. counteract what he does to try yeah, and battle. And it's yeah. like, I didn't want to engage my brain, but it's fine. <laughs> and then um, battled Harry and he put me back in my place. Mate, I tell you what. All the people, right? This is dirty Harry talking like now. I came down, right? I seen Luke. I was like, Luke's here. What's he doing here? Lad, he got through. Really? Oh, you know, mate, right? So I came down, right? Came facing me top four. So I'm not losing the fucking... Now this is, sounds more Manchester. Does it? I don't know. Yeah, yeah I think I've gone more money, haven't I? Right, <laughs> yeah, you get have. back into it like, you know what I mean? I came down like this, lad. I was like, lad, Luke... I'm not letting him beat me. I looked around in the venue, right? Everyone's eyes was on me. They were all the poppers. Were like, Harry, if you lose, mate, you're done. Do you know what I did? <laughs> I'm putting it, I'm putting that on the list, there, mate. You know what I mean? Fucking. I don't have a lighter, but just imagine this is a lighter sound. <laughs> Fucking hell, out of a smoke, this loop. Come here, mate. Smoke it, let's have it. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, this pod is so silly. I warn you. I'm so sorry. I'm really, I'm really tired as well. I've been up since five. Oh. And we haven't seen each other in a while yeah. either. I just sent that clip to Harry. Uh, I'm sweating. <laughs> I got so involved in that bit. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> let me know if you're enjoying this episode. <laughs> Look at the YouTube analytics yeah. and just see the drop off. Or the spike. Or the, one, yeah. one way or another you'll be hearing from me. Um <laughs> You might not see me again. <laughs> or I might send you a contract. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's kind of what Harry did. No, you know what? We were talking to Harry. I was talking to Harry before because we filmed a video bef before the event started. Yeah. And um, <coughs> and um, I was saying to Harry, it's like, I know at this point, I'm nine times out of ten, I'm not going to beat him. Like, unless I get really lucky and he super underestimates me, I, I'm not going to beat Harry now. So I was like, yeah. you know, some people, you and this is was the case with Mike where I'm like, gonna try and think tactics and like i'm gonna do the stuff that he doesn't do and yeah, yeah, yeah. like i'm never gonna try like animation against someone like mike it's like yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's one way to lose lose easy yeah but i said with harry it's like all right even if i want to try hard and stuff like i would in that case i would enjoy like like i want to do the stuff that he does because also mm -hmm. with harry we have similar like taste i think mm -hmm. in like mm -hmm. popping so yeah. we like the similar like the waves and the similar type of shit and the uh, tuts and lines and stuff so i just went on that because i was like and he did it back and answered back yeah, and like yeah. smoked me on the shit that i like because i went first yeah 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 and i did the whole did you see my round uh is that what you posted up yeah that was yeah, against yeah. harry was very, so i did all nice the like yeah. tuts and stuff Sorry, but like if you tuts, see yeah. his round it's like he did all that stuff but like stepped it up and i was like this is sick because you know it's like so i love about battles man especially yeah. that's what i love about battling people who are either better than you or at the same level it's yeah. just like bruv let's go man <clears throat> reminds me when we used to play basketball or something it's like even if you play against someone good it's like you you enjoy having the competition of like trying your hardest bring it <laughs> yeah. yeah so that was me of like okay yeah we both like the same stuff like mm. i'm gonna i'm not gonna shy away from trying to do it yeah, and yeah, yeah. let you Too bring your shit right. yeah, yeah man um so no it was cool i definitely lost <laughs> what you got did harry um, uh did harry do you reckon he tried do you reckon he was like I don't think he tried in the sense of him being like stressed. Mm. I think it was like, this is going to sound like a weird thing to say, but like, I think he tried out of respect oh. <laughs> of like, 
he could have like phoned in the round yeah, yeah. and still beat me. But he was like, nah, it's Luke. Yeah, because it's like all those tuts and stuff. It's like he didn't even have to do that to yeah. be. He could have just done simple popping and yeah. saved that shit for yeah, the yeah, exhibition. Yeah. Oh, but well I, done, Harry, right? That's how right. I felt anyway. I felt he was like, oh, you want to, you, you want to have a, let's go. yeah, let's, let's do it. Um, the lad, mate. Yeah. And I, you know, sometimes when you say, oh, you want to go, let's go. It's to like put someone back in their place. But I felt like for Harry, it was more of like a friendly, like, let's go, okay, yeah, you man, want this? Let's, let's do it. Battle, yeah. Bro. Um, it's one on one. It's playing one on one. Yeah, 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 hundred uh, percent. So I really enjoyed it, and it was fucking sick. And and I'm happy to like have been able to. I'm happy to have done a good round against Harry. Sick. Because there would have been time where I like shat myself, Bro, <laughs> or I, just didn't hold it together. You know, it's the best, man. To be able to go to an event, not make it to the finals or win, and like get relatively far, and then have a battle that you come away from when you lost and been like, yeah, that was sick. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why. A battle, <clears throat> Brent. Yeah, and I, uh, f- yeah, fucking fun, man. Um, that's so cool. So that's me, but this podcast is not about me. Well, it is. It is. Um, when I'm here, because <coughs> I, like I want to hear about what you happened with you. This you is just going to turn into a pod of just us talking about daily life, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. So then, I mean, that's like the fucking Joe Budden podcast. It's supposed to be a, a music podcast, and then <laughs> yeah. end up talking about everything. Um, if you see a woman, right, <laughs> and she got. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be the, yeah, I'm not saying the impressions else. podcast. Yeah, no. yeah. Um, so what else? Uh, yeah, so then after they did all the knockouts, obviously they qualify all the people they need. Then they did the popping and hip hop exhibition battle, which was pretty cool. Um, was that what you filmed? That's what live? I lived. Yeah, I lived. they had like lived. They had uh, they separated it into yeah. So that was the whole concept: oh, okay, like women yeah, yeah. against men. Um, Who won? Who won? Oh, it's hard to tell because I was filming, so I wasn't really watching it like that. Mm, I think good, popping in hip hop. No, I'm not scared. <laughs> I think popping in hip hop, I'd go more for the guys. I think, but then it's like that's because there was two <coughs> of them. There's what? There was more of them. There wasn't. Yeah, there was more. two got through, and only one got through with the. Yeah, but the that's because there was more invites. Men are trash. <laughs> <laughs> there was eight of each. Yeah. Um, yeah but there was yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was good people on both sides, um, but yeah, I mean yeah, just like for me, like seeing Soyuz and Feist, like they're like two yeah. of my favorites at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Always is it Swifty that was the host? Yes. What the fuck was the baby powder about, bro? Oh no, that wasn't Swifty. Um, oh. That was the dancers that asked for that because the floor was really sticky. Um, so Feist was like. Can we get baby powder? Can we get some baby powder? Because I guess if you put safer. it on your shoes, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like it's... Bro, I tuned into that live and all I could hear, I've seen <laughs> Harry dance and I was like, baby powder, man. Yeah, man, it's a baby powder. It's got baby powders. So I was like, what? <laughs> this event turning no. into it? What's happened? <laughs> Just put it all over your nipples. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Stops the chafing. Oh, uh, Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, no. So Fais asked for it at the beginning of the battle, and then I think someone went to the shop and got it for him. That's such a like. I'm a professional at the highest yeah, yeah, level. Yeah, yeah. It's like <clears throat> sticky floor. Yeah, baby powder. Uh, I need baby powder. Yeah. Um, if you you're French. gonna, if I need to do that, yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys, um, how you say baby powder? <laughs> yeah. You have baby powder. <laughs> if you want me to do good, I need my baby powder. <laughs> so then he brought that. Did you see the round that he did on stance? They posted. No. I'll show you it, but basically, like, so he asked for the baby powder. Um, I'll try and put this up on screen. When I say I try, yes. it just means we'll see how, boy, <laughs> we'll how see much edit how I feel I like feel. doing. So, <laughs> but at least I can see it. Yeah. So, so Stance put up this yeah. from Groovenometry. Yeah. Ooh. This was Feist's round. Wait, so bear in mind, like, he did all the, like, everyone was, like, baby powdering up their shoes. Yeah, and baby baby he down. comes out and does this round. Does he fall over? No. Oh. <laughs> and like everyone got gassed because I didn't see it coming. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, I clean it up. I clean it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but it was like cool because it was like they did the. <laughs> Like they did the baby powder thing, and then it wasn't like immediately after. It was like a couple of minutes, so everyone kind of forgotten about the baby yeah, powder. Yeah, then yeah. So when he it brought came out, out of nowhere, yeah. I guarantee you, if I was so cocky, if I was up in that exhibition sitting next to him and he did that and looked at me, I'd have been like, <laughs> 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 um, but his round was nice. 
Yeah, man. Um, from the movie <laughs> but it did. It did get the crowd at the time. Even I was like, yeah, "Oh, that of was course, cool." Whatever. It's <laughs> <cool>. <laughs> Such a hater. <laughs> You're like, wish I thought of that. <laughs> Fuck, I need baby powder. <laughs> hey, like, next battle, you yeah. see him like. <laughs> Hey, why are your trousers like really chalky and white? Shut up. And then he... <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Because I'm not France, is that why? Yeah, sacré bleu. Pizza. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> you just do it with water, just spill water on someone's face. Is that, is that the same thing? Did I do it? <laughs> just walk up to the judge. Just drench them. <laughs> Oh, first did it. Oh. <laughs> Yo, man, what the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> oh. Hey, what happened? I thought it would be funny, you know? Anyway, fucking hell. Um, Jeez. So that was cool. So um, exhibitions, that exhibitions. happened. Then they did the kids exhibition, which when I heard kids exhibition, <laughs> I thought <laughs> I'm going to go get a coffee. <laughs> But, but that was my initial thought. All right. Don't lie. You were thinking it too. But. Bro, when you said, then they did the kids exhibition. I just like imagined everyone going, yeah, anyway, do you want to go? Yeah. It? But then I remembered the level of kid breakers in this country. Oh. And I was like, oh. oh. No, I like, I didn't remember. I remembered when they started dancing. They started dancing. It was like Tara, Eddie, her, their other sister, I think. There's like some B-boys. Um from i think one of them might be in primal instincts or there's another crew as well but like bro they were fucking sick shoot like that's flipping five million views on tiktok right there bro like, that's viral footage viral material speaking right there, of mate. um stunts i mean they put up this one This is more editing work for me. <laughs> more editing work from me, but I want to show a hey, this video. That's terror spinning in my head now. That's terror. Yeah, man. I think that's terror. Yeah. So it was like, yeah. Um, that's terror. <laughs> <laughs> you feel mad old. Oh, you don't look a day over nine. <laughs> <laughs> like flipping hell, man. Yeah. Um, That's mad. So then, yeah, it was like that level of like, and like oh, there was sick. a lot of good kids. So I stayed to watch it because it was only 10 minutes long. And I was like, oh, I'm glad I stayed to watch it. This is fucking yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah. But my immediate thought was kids and I rolled my eyes. And then I saw who the kids were. And I was and like, like ah, they're all that, fucking yeah, yeah. sick. This is going to be very, um, very entertaining. Bro, Terror yeah. has grown. Yeah, man. Oh. I think that happens to kids. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Time. Um, Time goes by. So slow. I'm Madonna. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Move, on. Madonna. Move on. Move <laughs> on. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> um, and then the breaking exhibition, which was sick. The event ran late, um, which I guess is to be expected with something like that. But yeah. um, so I was, to be honest, I was super tired by that point. Mm. Um, but the breaking thing was fucking sick. Mm. But like yeah the level of the b-boys and b-girls was fire because like who won that one i don't even know like yeah because it, it was sick and also i was like again not really watching it yeah i was like filming and stuff so i wasn't really analyzing the dance i was just kind of taking it in but how did um, sunny do because i know from since sunny's last podcast it. he was like i'm actually gonna try and win these things now. yeah yeah yeah. Mild, <laughs> yeah he did sick man like him karam uh i'm trying to think who else was on that Thing that you would know um but like some of the beagles were like international like invites and stuff from you know various countries Bruv, this sounds like one of the dopest events and it was held in manchester which i think is sick because it brings people to manchester like when would all of those people that were there be in manchester yeah. um I know, mate. and what else was i gonna say the only thing is is like it's quite a small stage space mm. for the exhibitions and it's like, <clears throat> I guess it is up to them, like how they, how they want to make it work. But someone was saying this to me and I think it's a good point where it's like that exhibition could have been on like a big stage and it would have been sick. Not that they have to have a huge venue, but like, that's like a show. Like I would have sat in a yeah. seat with some popcorn to yeah, watch that, yeah, but yeah, it was yeah. kind of like jam vibes, if you know what yeah. I mean, where it was like, everyone's like crowded around Still it. Still grassroots, but the level and the was quality fire. was. But I think you would have maybe, I don't know about the breakers, maybe they're more used to it, but I think you would have maybe got. 
more out of some of the dancers if you had a bit more space and a bigger stuff. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But um, again, it's like I was what I was saying to whoever I can't remember who it is that said it, but it's like it's it's about what the event because like if they stick to their guns, then that can become like what makes Groovenometry famous is like yeah. it's just a small intimate yeah. vibe with the highest level. Yeah. Then again, if they did like. Like in a way, in a air quotes, like step it up a gear in sense mm. of like bigger thing and stage or whatever. They could maybe get more people in. Yeah, well, yeah, I suppose they would know that from tickets. If it's like it's a yeah. <clears throat> it's a line between right. How do we keep this very grassroots and very raw, well, authentic? But if yeah. we do do that, are we do do? Are we? Is there a lot of people that can't then come and enjoy? Like, are we being? you run the risk of being not exclusive, but like almost snobby in a way. Cause it's yeah. like, we want to keep it like this. So only these many, many, like there's not many that people can yeah, come yeah, and yeah, see yeah. it. And if you're not one of the ones too bad, um, yeah. which I don't think they want to do that. I think they probably would upscale it. I, yeah. Honestly. I think they, and also it's like, it's way easier said than done to be like, just go and get a big stage. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have to like, um, I didn't think about that. No, no, yeah. No. And like, they have to know the demand is there before they can afford, yes. you know, and I don't think they're getting really funding for this. They're kind of doing it off, off all their own, own back, which is mad. So sick. Obviously they're probably making it back on tickets for this, but probably only just. Mm. Um, so I think if they were to get funding, I mean, like, how much fucking, I don't know if it's maybe that like, yeah, like how come much on Red Bull, just no, Red Bull, like like front, Red Bull or something like that. I don't Red know, Bull don't those... fund shit basically. But just come um, help a brother, right, mate. You see they're doing good work. Just some, a big company, just be like that. No, but it needs to be like um, like uh, arts council or something like like a more a organization. More, we don't, we'll just give you money. You do what you do. Yeah, like community, they, that who want like community outreach. Because it's like, mm. that's what's going to build a scene in Manchester, man. Like mm. stuff like Riven Madrid, if they can start doing like, some, let's say like smaller events throughout the year it's like that's what's going to bring the entire scene up to manchester because they're not folding and coming down to london yeah 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 um and that's basically what makes london london is like there's events and there's you have stuff to come happening here. and yeah. yeah um so i think if they keep it in manchester someone should fund it because it's like the the amount of kids that are going to like even if you look at the story of little jay of like him getting into the thing he's from manchester so like He's his battle career is gonna be he's gonna be more likely to enter more battles to do more with yeah. dance because of that one experience. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you imagine that's a, a kid who's already like in his mid twenties. Yeah. Imagine like a fourteen year old or a thirteen year old who sees like terror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And who's never seen her in light in real life before, and it's like, I want to do that exactly. Like yeah. you're gonna fucking change people's lives that would not without sounding over dramatic, but like from having this event somewhere outside of London. Um. So yeah, I mean. I'm not their producer, so whatever. Good but like, job, Groovenometry, man. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they find or, or they get that funding that they need to to pull this off on a um, pissed on a bigger scale. Pissed, you missed it. Pissed next year. Next year yeah, we'll do it. I'm and it's also like with it being three days, it's more of a reason to come to Manchester. Yeah, because I drove four and a half hours, and then on when we finished the event, we. Uh, we left at like 10. Mm. I got back at two in the morning. I drove four hours after that entire day battling, mm. filming everything. So I was knackered, but it's like, it was worth it. Cause also it split the drive, it, whether or not you travel or you fly or whatever, it splits it up over a few days. And it's like, it's worth paying for cause you're coming for a for few an experience. And two after yeah, parties. More, you can see yeah, people, yeah, yeah. you can go out for dinner, you can meet people. It's not just one event. It's like, Oh, sh I've got to get my train. It's just late. Yeah. Like when it was one day, it's like <clears> you show up <throat> an hour before the event, do the event, go home. And it's mm. like, if you don't want to travel or can't afford to travel, it's kind of not worth it. Yeah. Whereas like a three day event, or even if they make it longer, if you look at like summer dance or uh, IBE, mm. it's like these sort of things. Like, like a festival type. Yeah. Thing. People will travel. Cause it's like you, you go there for something for like an extended period, I think. Yeah. So it's like, all right, it's worth, you know, you spend however much on travel. It's yeah, worth it. Cause yeah, you're yeah. getting six days out of it. And you don't really have like those type of festival, big things here in the UK. You have to go abroad. Or yeah, not really. So like nice even breaking convention here. is two days. Yeah, no. What else do we have? We like Clara's got her like paintings week in London and stuff like that. But it's like I don't really feel like that's. I, don't, I mean, obviously I'm from London, so it's like for me that's just loads of events on one week. Yeah. But like when it's in another city, I feel like oh, I'm going, going to that city yeah. for that yeah. festival. Yeah. So I think yeah, Groove Tree, like they could even like do more on the weekend. You know, they could even have something on a Thursday and uh, Friday and like give people a reason to come for the whole thing. But obviously a weekend is a safe bet because people are off work. Mm. Um, you gonna order your food? I'm ordering food. Yeah, yeah. I'm ordering food on a podcast because I don't care. Yeah, man's hungry, hungry. Hey. No, I mean, go hey. order on some food. I met my tug. He ordered food. Says where the food? 
I was in the mood. Cool. That's my Dave impression. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blue like cheese and onion. <laughs> Shut up, mate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's grooming on a tree. Um, I'm pissed. For those who weren't there. Well oh, done for not only holding it down for the full one full baby shake your ass here ass here i don't know what that song is but i know they said that at the beginning not only holding it down for the capsule podding it up live in it up merchandising it up smacking it up in the battles poppers hey what happened slapping them up i don't know yeah. that's a, i don't know, I think that's more of an insult to me so why yeah. are you letting luke beat you <laughs> It's a call out, bro. Nah, you're sick. You've done. You've done no, really well, you, man. Mate. I'm very. I'm very impressed that you're. You're right. And all my food's gone pissed. Um, uh, but, but you know what's important? Like also, what kind of what went through my head in terms of like doing the battles? What? Or like when Breaks asked me about or gave me the thing? Yeah. Is like, and also like this was kind of the reason why I jumped in the ciphers as well as like wanting to just dance a bit. But it's like, I really don't want to at any point like. I'm sitting here fucking talking about all this stuff and talking about events and battles and stuff and mm. blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I want to participate more than just being there talking about it. You know what mm. I mean? It's like, all right, if I, if I talk about a battle or how, a, how an experience was or what a battle event should have or what a battler should do or whatever, it's like, you I'm kind of need to have some expertise and yeah, experience. In yeah. Like fields. even if I'm yeah. not the best, like I'm there doing it yeah. and I can talk about someone's dance cause I'm going to battle you the next yeah, week. Yeah, so yeah. if you kick my head in, it's like, cool, fair. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not yeah, like, yeah. Oh, you're, not, you're not sitting behind like a fort being like, yeah, all of this is shit. And this is great. And this is what I think you're like, yeah. And then I'm in the trenches. I'm free from criticism because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, never yeah. on the, the yeah, like yeah. this way you can criticize me the same way I criticize other yeah. people or whatever. So fair game, mate. And I think, yeah, it's just important to like be a part of the culture I want to talk about, you know, yeah. or this, the community, I guess. Um, so yeah, that was part of it as well. So I was happy to to be involved a bit, and it's not a bad thing to do well as well if you can. Hmm. Um, if you can, that was another pop at all the poppers that didn't make it through. We're basically mostly talking about Lewis. Woo! Sorry, Lewis didn't get through. Ah, Lewis, sorry, sorry Lewis. Lewis, he now, did well. He, he did so well. He cusses you for some reason. I didn't. Cuss I him. love you. Lewis. I love Lewis. You're one of my I favorite spent the whole weekend dancers. With him. Now look, he's, see, he's saying that he Lewis loves well. you, and he's saying that he spent the whole weekend with you, but his voice went so high, like someone grabbed his. Bong bong. You know what I mean? Because he's defensive right now. Because I called not. him out on some. I'm not. I love Lewis. I love Lewis. No, 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 no. Me, 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 me. It wasn't an insult. He just didn't get through. He just didn't get through and I did. Because <laughs> I'm better than Lewis. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. But you was thinking it. <laughs> Why did you get defensive about it? <laughs> hey? Guys, this is for sure the silliest pod we've done. No, that's a lie. You're into you and Lee's one <laughs> when we did the interview. That was, that was very silly. silly. But I think like we held it together. Like normally when I'm on here, it's unraveling now. I'm trying to like hold in like all the impressions, all the <laughs> yeah. stupid jokes. I'm like, this is Luke's like pod. Let me just like be professional. No, but I you. think that's what people like. I think that's why you're back here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm just very tired today. So uh, oh, there's mate. no filter, mate. It's all coming. We out. are too. Um, so yeah, that's kind of grooving on. I'm sure there's not going to be too much else of this podcast left, but uh, aim the aim takeover week at East London Dance is happening now. Yes. They had uh, workshops with Firehouse on Monday, Paris and Brook Talk. <laughs> I don't know who's teaching today, but it's either AIM or... No, I think Monsters are tomorrow, so I think it's AIM today. Monsters tomorrow. Um, <laughs> and then Thursday night, they're having a panel discussion. Uh, Friday night, the capsule film screening uh, that we're hosting. Saturday is the battle. Then Sunday... Friday, Saturday, Sunday is Move It. I'll be at Move It. Oh, super quick one. I like to... I had a question on the last uh, pod... Which I would like to address. Uh oh. No, it's not bad. Okay. Um, someone because we I spoke about move it. So someone, uh, well, it's not someone. It's um, do you know Nadia? Yeah, you do. Uh, runs for your style. That We've spoken about her before. Rings. A lot. Of, yes. I think um, I yes. Anyway. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. She not said, personally, but I do know. would like to know my views. She's wrote this on the YouTube. Would like to know your views on move it not paying teachers for workshops that profit massively. <laughs> Oh, now you're asking the questions, questions that, that people, people don't, don't want to answer. answer to. Oh, I was going to do a Batman thing. I'm not going to do it. Go. <laughs> be professional. Don't go. ruin it. Yeah, no, me. no, go. Um, I don't really have too much opinion on it. Um, 
fucking brilliant. Uh, no, I uh, think... Um, what was the question? So, basically, Move It is a big thing, and basically they attract a shitload of people who pay money to do their things. Mm. And they don't... I guess they don't pay the teachers who teach the workshops at the thing. And people can sign up with their ticket price. They can sign up to mm. do workshops for free. Mm. The idea being... Mm. For them, I guess, is that it's like promo for the like if you have a regular class, yeah. like Sean does at base or whatever, it's promo for that. You can teach a taster class and tell everyone, and so massive, and they do bring with them like a giant audience. So, I think it's like, listen, I think there's the aspect of um, is that exploiting? Yeah, this is the question though. I think there's the aspect of it where you like if you're a dancer right there's jobs that you need to get paid for yes. so like when you get hired for a music video shoot there's, you expect to get paid right yes then there's like you know like teaching jobs or whatever, like hi i'd like you to teach my dance school mm -hmm. here's the fee or here's not mm -hmm. the fee mm -hmm. this i think and i feel is more of a business arrangement mm. so it's move it saying and you know if anyone feels like pressured or lied to about these things that's a different story but mm. i think it's move it saying listen we have a massive audience business wise we would like to maximize our profits mm -hmm. so we would like to offer workshops maybe we could use our audience as leverage rather than paying the teachers and say mm. to them hey you teach for free um or perform for free or whatever it is mm. and um then you can utilize that to advertise your classes mm. or whatever it is and i think as long as you know that beforehand you can um make a decision and say no if you don't want to how long has move it been going for <clears throat> a long time i can check but well, quite a while why because it sounds like this is something that maybe back in the day was like yeah this is cool and then they've just like been like i mean to me from the yeah. outside perspective it sounds like you know it just smells a bit <laughs> funky you know but that's that's the thing it's like <clears throat> i think all business is really you know it I mean? is, it's like it one is person trying to get get one like to win against the yeah, other yeah yeah i mean like i mean if you were in movies, 2006 i think 2006 okay so yeah yeah 15th mm. edition is this year yeah but listen i think it's like show us how much money you make before tax move it i think oh, that's what they, we have they, to do no. put the post out <laughs> how much money are you making before tax from all your profit i just want to know profit i think they're, they're making a shitload it's, it's at the excel center it's huge wow um but again it's like well i tell you he's not getting there and he's not getting hired for anything to move it. I was like, yeah, well, okay, well, you've shot yourself in the foot there. You should have kept it storm. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, I don't, well, yeah, I don't know that she'd want to. Um, but no, I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think, listen, this is my thing with all business stuff in the dance scene. I don't think it's a negative thing to discuss it. Mm. Obviously, if there's contracts and there's private stuff, you know, you shouldn't air it out on fucking social media. But mm -hmm. that's the whole reason behind the podcast and all that stuff is like, let's, talk about this stuff openly and discuss it like i think like i said i do think it's a business move from movie i think it's them being like what's the best way that we can minimize on cost and maximize profits exactly which is every business yeah right and it's like you can say that morally that's something that as a dance organization they should be like oh let's make sure we pay all our teachers yeah. and stuff but it's also like all the teachers know that that's the deal and agree yeah. to it so yeah. you don't have to agree to it the yeah. only reason it's being agreed to is because it's like exposure or whatever. Mm. And, you know, I think there's like, does it take advantage of dancers uh, need or willingness for ex to do stuff for exposure? Maybe there's like a younger dancer who doesn't realize. I think, you know, it's easy as a 32 year old, like I'm doing the pods for free, mm. full transparency. Mm. I'm doing panel talks and it's like, I want to promote the capsule and i want their audience and it's worth it mm. for me to use their audience mm. and that's worth more than money at this point yeah no for me. yeah no if i, I if i did a smaller event leverage if you're if you're someone who's up and coming or you're trying to build your own thing platform market you can use that as leverage yeah. which it seems to be what the business deal is yeah i wonder if like i don't know because i'm not in the dance scene anymore how much like I don't know if like equity got a whiff of this or if there's any like type of organization like that, that might be like, hey man, that's illegal. Mm. Or but just because they don't know about it, then it just goes under the I'd radar. I'd be surprised it like move it's huge. Yeah. So I'd be surprised I be if surprised it, someone it hadn't yeah, flagged yeah. it somewhere. I don't know what they're like I'm sure there's like a minimum rate for like workshops and teaching, but then it's like 
who's to, like you know like if you ran a dance school and you were like oh Luke can you come and teach for me as a favor mm. it's like yeah. a, you know even if we wrote it on a contract it's like it's a business arrangement between yeah, yeah, us yeah. yeah so it's not yeah I don't know it's like it sounds kind of shitty to say it but it kind of like it is what it is and I think those opportunities can or, or those things can be beneficial in the right circumstances yeah. they can also be um they can also take advantage of dancers in the rights in the wrong yeah. circumstances yeah. and i think the main answer is not for like the business world to change because at the mm. same time we're doing that to other people like if i quote someone for example a separate like business thing if i quote someone for a photography job right mm. and i quote them like at the upper end of what i want to charge mm. You, I'm doing that knowing that I might negotiate down, right? Mm. And that's all business. They mm. know that I'm hitting them at the top mm. things and they'll mm. say, what about 500 or whatever mm. it might be, right? If they just, if let's say they don't know much about business and, and dancers, I guarantee do this. If they quote for a workshop and they're like, yeah, I charge this much and mm. someone doesn't know much about business and just goes, okay, mm. we'll hire you for that. Mm. The dancer doesn't go, oh, well, actually, maybe we should negotiate because so you yeah, can get a better deal. Very interesting they, take. They go, yeah, like, that like oh well that's how much i'm and worth that does blah, blah, blah. happen that does happen and in they, companies they definitely overcharge in certain situations and stuff mm. but because the dancers are more on the artist side we kind of we're like yeah go get them it's like the david yeah. and goliath thing but it's like move it are doing that the same way it's like they're an event that if that was a small event it's you'd be like oh they're hustling or whatever but because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. big and successful and because they can pay it's easy to point the finger and be, yeah and for us to deem them as like you have enough money you yeah. don't need to do yeah, it and yeah, it's yeah. like well what if they're trying to get global or you yeah. know what i mean so Just get more money i think yeah it can be it can be taken advantage it also can be useful i think it's on the education of the dancers yeah for us to be like we've solved it we've solved it we've answered we've the solved it. We've we, solved don't, we don't need to uh, discuss this anymore if anyone ever asks about <laughs> you want to get food move it no yeah. anyone ever asks about it link them to this capsule because you just solved it for everyone you Oh, sexy. Thank you. I like Batman. Okay. I need to go and see the Batman. Someone. Don't ruin it. I'm not, I'm oh, not, oh, I'm oh, not a oh. fucking douchebag. Oh. Pumtash that does that. Anyone who does that shit, man, that pisses said me off. Pumtash. I said Pumtash. Um, um, I was going to say something and now it's going. It's unraveling. It's gone. I don't know what I was going to say. So you carry on doing your show. I'll carry on doing your show. Yes, please. This is the Abe show now. <laughs> um, anyway, guys, so AIM, AIM week is happening. Move it's coming up this weekend. Groovenometry happened. You're shaking the camera. What if, I, what if I talk into this microphone now with you? <laughs> <laughs> guys. <laughs> I think this is signaling the end of the podcast. <laughs> Let's wrap it up, Jake. Should we call Harry? Yes. Oh, yes. I don't know why I said that. So. <laughs> I don't Sorry, have the exciting. phone connection. Please so do. Should I Bluetooth it? All right, Bluetooth fuck it. it. Let's, let's, yeah, let's do it. Let's see if he picks up. Let's he, call he did, Hazza. He did reply to my, um, what's it called? What do you call that when you text someone? Uh, what's that? Yep, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> he did reply to me. Your brain is like going. My brain is gone with the wind. Gone with the wind. All right, tell people jokes to... Uh... So, uh, what's up with cars? <laughs> hey, what happened? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. That's how comedians do it, right? <laughs> I think that's a good set. I think you're doing great. I think I can take that I on think you're honestly doing really good. I... <laughs> I was talking to Luke, and I'm going to stop this story as soon as Harry picks up the phone. But I can't hear it ringing on the. It's ringing. We love Hello, lads. Right? You're right. Harry, yeah, right, lads. You're on the podcast. <laughs> Don't say fuck or bugger. How are we? <laughs> we're good. We're we're me and Abe are very tired, <laughs> and we are talking a lot of shit. And we just thought we'd call you. How's it going? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm so I'm just watching the forty. Oh, oh yeah, Champions we, League, isn't we, it? Yeah. Oh, mate, are you watching? It's Liverpool into Milan, isn't it? Oh, I'm come not a red, on the red. I am a blue. Oh, so you're nah, a blue. Come on, into yeah, obviously. Traitor, mate! What are you talking about? You're a blue. 
Yeah, fucking hell. After that embarrassing performance last night. Oh, tell me about it. Did you, like, hit the crossbar or something, mate. You didn't you know watch what I mean? it, did you? Uh, uh, okay, give, us, give us fucking something, yeah. What's with the four four two formation? Hey, uh, hey, didn't watch it. <laughs> I don't watch it. I don't watch it. He's just talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fucking well, anyway, done, lads. well done for um tucking in luke <laughs> oh you dickhead Give it, me a- it wasn't even like that though yeah. i thought it was a good battle me yeah 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 Get, be honest did like at any point of you like at any point in your head were you like i'm not fucking losing to luke bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, we manifested it, didn't we, Luke? Yeah, we were talking about it before. We were like, oh, it'd be sick if we ended up battling each other and stuff. And really? We, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Just before it, yeah. yeah that nah, was a- it, it, nah, it was a good one, I thought. Was it, good, oh, was yeah. it a good event? <laughs> what? Did you enjoy the event? Was the event good? Yeah, I thought the event was sick. My only my only uh, complaint, uh, well, uh, you know, shout out to the organisers and that because it was actually fucking sick. Mm. But obviously... There's always a complaint. Sorry to be negative. Fucking no, hit. Um, that's what it's here nah, for. I just thought I, I just thought the exhibition battle music could have given us more life. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And and that would have made that that whole thing a little bit better. Oh. But I thought um, I thought up to that moment the music had been spot on and the yeah. atmosphere is always sick, isn't it? There. So yeah, no, nah, I thought it was sick overall. I'll definitely be going back next year. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, and obviously I got to take some of my students there uh, this time, and that was uh, oh, that's it. It's good, uh, yeah, it's good experience for them to be fair, and they loved it. So, um, sick. yeah, all in all, it was it was sick. Yeah, that's lovely. How far yeah. was the journey for you? Not that far, uh, is it? I mean, nah, money for me is like forty minutes, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that's so mad. Yeah, no, nah, it was sound. Nice man, it's good. And it out of uh, I know you and um, Silk both made it. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you were to battle, who do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> who won? Really? Do you know what we were saying? We were saying that we uh, we need to start doing some little two on uh, two on two stuff. Me and Silk. Yeah, um, I think I think it just makes sense. Do you know what I mean? You so. guys, you just you just don't want any fucking challenge, do you? Yeah. Hey, we're both winning stuff. Let's just <laughs> team up so we win more stuff. Isn't it obviously boring. fucking hell. So yeah, what if you, you listen to this, no, let's just be ready, people. No, mate. You should get one of the people that didn't make it through. Get Lewis. You should team <laughs> up with Lewis. And Silk should hey. team up with someone else that didn't make it through. Hey, I would team up with Lewis any day. Lewis oh. is talking sick as well. Oh, oh he's gonna be gassed, go, mate. He's gonna that's be it, like, that's it, that's it. He's gonna that's gonna make his whole week, mate. I'm fucking so happy, hell. Mate. I'm Love so you, happy. Lewis, lad. Obviously. <laughs> fucking hell. Um all right, well, yeah, well, yeah. sorry, don't want to disturb you too much from the football, but we're, uh, we just thought we'd give you a call because we love you. Yeah, nah, it's nice to hear from you both. Love you, nice mate. Nice one. Come on the fucking love Reds. Too. Yeah, and, and next right, time you're down yeah, in London... <laughs> <laughs> next, time, next time you're down in London, come, in, uh, come through the, the old capsule... 100% okay. I'll have them there next time let's have it sick alright bro well, catch you soon go ahead lad see you soon lad. Safe, bro. take it easy man bye alright let's <laughs> <laughs> for fuck's sake <laughs> uh, we love Harry um, here at Capsules headquarters alright <laughs> let's uh, go because I'm fucking tired and we food's got, coming we got shit to do as well um, and by that I mean kiss each other well, that's been the capsule. <laughs> Peace. Goodbye. Oh, fucking mess of an episode. <laughs> Still recording. <laughs> Oh, bro, I'm sweating, man. Oh, what did I've we just do? I've never laughed so much in my fucking life, bro. All right, now oh. I have a re- the real question for you. Yeah. Is...